claiming my time. Um, in his important testimony today, Mr. Bussey referenced the bloody violence that we experienced on January 6, 2021, something not mentioned by our colleagues who continue to think it was a tourist visit and are clearly soft on criminal insurrection and soft on criminal violence against our police officers. Americans killing Americans, that's a good description of what's taking place with gun violence today. But on January 6, we experienced the worst domestic insurrection against our government since the Civil War. More than 150 officers were wounded and injured, and several people were left dead in the rampage. The rioters shut down the counting of electoral votes and drove the House and the Senate out of our chambers. And although there was a huge arsenal of pistols, rifles, AR-15s, and other firearms brought to the area by the insurrectionists on January 6, the email and text traffic of the extremist groups reveals that many of them decided to temporarily leave their firearms in specific sites outside of D.C. because of the district's stringent gun laws until they thought the firearms would be necessary. Now, amazingly, in the wake of this savage insurrectionary attack against our government, the NRA and its followers in Congress continue to propound the idea that the Constitution, specifically the Second Amendment, gives people a right to violently attack and overthrow the government of the United States. This so-called insurrectionary theory of the Second Amendment maintains that its purpose is to allow citizens to wage armed resistance if they think the government is being unfair or unjust. The reading is absurd and flies in the face of the plain text of the Constitution, which in at least seven different places that I count clearly forbids and punishes armed resistance against the U.S. government. A few examples. The Republican Guarantee Clause, Article 4, Section 4, provides the U.S. shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and against domestic violence. This was written in the Constitution specifically in response to Shays' rebellion and armed resistance to the government, which the founders strongly condemned. The Treason Clause, Article 3, Section 3, Clause 1, states treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies. What is violent insurrection against the government if not levying war against the United States? So that was Jamie Raskin uh, speaking during one of the first, uh, the first uh, hearings about gun violence, uh, hearings with gun manufacturers come before Congress one of the first hearings in decades. So this was a historic day in the uh, saga that is gun violence here in the United States. Raskin made a few really great points there. Uh, one, uh, which is really interesting, uh, and the first time I've heard it, is that on 1-6, uh, a lot of these white nationalists and, and militia groups that attended uh, the rally and then went on to storm the Capitol actually kept guns outside of D.C., because of DC's strict gun policies. Now, Republicans and gun activists try to uh, say that those gun policies make it so that it's easy picking for the mass shooters. Uh, but we can clearly see here, right, that it is actually deterring uh, these people from bringing in weapons to uh, inflict damage on people. So, Gun laws do work, despite what you know the NRA and Republicans want to tell you. Um, it's also really interesting the the points Raskin's making about the constitutional reading uh, of things like the treason clause, Article Three, Section Three, Clause One. He was talking about treason is levying war against the United States. This is right after he's talking about Republicans storming the Capitol, right? The mega cult storming the Capitol, uh, the the deadly insurrection on January 6th to try to overturn the the results of our democracy. Uh, you know, so, so Raskin is making a, a very, uh, you know, timely point here that the Second Amendment does not guarantee you the right to wage war uh, against the United States of America. And again, this just goes to show you the hypocrisy of Republicans, right, who are all about backing the blue when it's convenient for them. But at the you know on the, the flip of a switch they're ready to attack the police as they did in 16 and also threaten police officers like one of the republican members of congress did during that hearing today which I talked about in another video so uh, I will put the uh, link to that video in the description and then I'll also put a card uh, up in the corner of this screen so that you can click on that uh, thanks for watching my name is Brendan Plank with Reflect News here on 
YouTube. Uh, if you want to check out other videos, here's one that you might like, and here's our latest video. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get Reflex videos in your inbox.